No candidate for attorney general got more than 50% of the vote last night, which means the race is headed for a runoff. Bryce Newberry has been watching these results come in. He's live near downtown Austin with the very latest. Bryce, good morning. Yvonne, good morning to you. Out of the four Republican candidates for Texas Attorney General, Ken Paxton did keep the lead. He is still in the lead this morning with about 43% of the vote. But then between Ava Guzman and George P. Bush, they were neck and neck throughout the night. This morning, Bush does appear to have pulled ahead with about 23% of the vote. So Ken Paxton, of course, is the indicted Attorney General of Texas currently, who's also under FBI investigation for abuse of office allegations. During a speech at his campaign, campaign watch party last night. Paxton touted the number of lawsuits his office has filed and won against the Biden administration. If you were trying to destroy the country, I don't know if you could do it any better. And the reality is it's Texas that's suing and trying to stop this from happening. We are the leaders. Other states gravitate toward. All right, and George P. Bush is the current Texas land commissioner, the son of former Florida Governor Jeb Bush. He says the results show that Texans are looking for a change. Can't take anything for granted uh, in a great state like Texas, but again, we like the direction of where we're going, and we really love the juxtaposition against an indicted felon out on criminal bond who has disgraced the Republican Party, has disgraced our state. This runoff election set for May 24th, and if you voted in the Republican primary, you'll be able to vote in the runoff, but if you voted in the Democratic primary, you will not have a say in this race. And when asked if he'd reach out to the other candidates who are not advancing to the runoff, Bush said that he does plan to do that today to ask for their support.